Yo, what's up everybody? How is it going? Today we're playing Death Prophet. We're going into the mid lane. This was random draft. Playing Death Prophet because I really like Death Prophet and I have this quest to get 25 charges on a bloodstone. And I just played a game where I went like like uh, 19 and 0 with like 700 bloodstone charges. And I didn't have the quest at the time. So, <laughs> you know, I guess, I guess not. I guess not. I guess we'll just have to do it in this match, right? So we'll see what we can do here. But uh, just going Death Prophet mid, I mean, in case you don't know, Death Prophet is one of my favorite heroes. Like, one of my all-time, like, top three favorite heroes. Like, my, my top three favorite heroes are, like, uh, Shadow Fiend, Necrophos, Death Prophet. Right? I love those guys. So, let's go ahead and just play some Death Prophet then, right? That seems reasonable. Anyway, going up against... I, I really thought that was going to be the Windrunner. I, I really thought that was going to be the Windrunner. Well, it seems we're going up against against a Tidehunter, who I assume is playing his first match of the... Uh, no, it is the famous Tidehunter Ancient Apparition dual mid lane. Dude, I don't know what's going on today. <laughs> oh, man. No, it's Ancient Apparition mid, I guess. Um, we all know that is a very powerful strategy. Um, probably the best strategy in the entire game. So we're gonna just go ahead and uh, appreciate it for what it is, I suppose, right? Hello, my friend. Are you doing all right? <laughs> Didn't think so. Uh, yeah, I, I guess it's a little bit unfortunate for him. This is really what you want to do in a matchup like this, where you're just like severely outclassing the power level of the other hero. And you just beat them up like in their face really bad. They just be very rude uh, because of what can they do to stop it, right? So anyhow. Got some things to talk about. First of all, first of all, I heard your voices. I know you guys want more regular Dota. So let's do some more regular Dota, right? Like, why not? We've been playing so many custom games lately. I think a little bit more regular Dota isn't gonna... God damn it, I thought I cancelled that. Isn't gonna hurt anybody, right? That sounds fun. Um, so, you know, I've been streaming more regular Dota. I'm gonna be recording some more regular Dota. Why not? Secondly, I got a good night's sli uh, sleep today. I'm really happy about. I know it doesn't sound like a big deal to you, but it is a pretty big deal to me. <laughs> I have been struggling to sleep, as always. Like, that is just like... Dude, I don't know. It's just hard to sleep for some reason. Like, but... I got a good night's sleep. Feeling pretty good about that. Feeling pretty, pretty happy. And I uh, gotta grab myself that double damage in celebration. That seems like a good thing to do. Secondly. Wait, that's secondly. Thirdly. My birthday in a few days. On Monday. That is not really relevant in any sort of way. But I just thought like bringing it up. <laughs> I'm not going to be streaming on Monday. Probably. Most likely. So like if you guys want to wish me happy birthday. Then do it on Sunday. Or on Tuesday. I guess. Right. Well I guess on YouTube. Or don't. I don't care. Like seriously. I'm not going to be upset with you. Like it's Gucci. Like whatever. Not a big deal. <laughs> like that's. That's all fine. That's all fine. Um, next up, tomorrow, which is first day for me, no idea about it, when it is for you, actually it might be first day for you as well, um, tomorrow, I am gonna go check out, like, me and Mickey and my sister who's driving us because we don't have a car, <laughs> uh, are gonna go and look at a kitten that we might adopt, and by might, I think we are pretty damn sure we're gonna take that kitten in. Um, pretty excited about that, not gonna lie, right, uh... Yeah, no, we're gonna we're gonna get a new little kitten, and I'm really, really happy about that because like Noah, our our cat, um, is really lonely. Like at first, I thought I was just projecting onto him. You know, I thought I wanted to believe that he's lonely, and that's why I, you know, believed he is lonely. Um, but no, he seems really lonely to me. Like he's just always wanting to play with us, which wasn't the case before. He was playing with Nikita all the time, right? Um, he is. Like, um, at home a lot, which was kind of true a bit before. Well, actually, I wouldn't say at home a lot. No, actually, the exact opposite. He isn't at home a lot. And when he's at home, he just sits on the couch and does nothing. He used to just go play Nikita or, like, lay down with Nikita before. And now he's just sitting here doing nothing. Obviously being really bored. And, um, yeah, so getting a kitten so he has somebody to play with is, I think, gonna be really, really nice and really important. So I'm very, very happy about that. I'm very much looking forward to it. 
Hello, my friend. One more? I got the attack flying. I hope he doesn't have wind run. I'm pretty sure I heard a wind run, so he's gonna be fine. That's a bit disappointing. <laughs> that is a little bit disappointing. But that's okay. We can deal with that. But yeah. So, you know, I'm, I'm excited to, like, get him somebody to play with again. Because it's just like, he's such a friendly cat. Like, such an incredibly friendly cat. The most friendly cat I have ever seen. And uh, he just wants to play with everything, like, all the time. But, you know, like, none of the other cats around here want to play with him. So, getting a little kitten that is, you know, obviously always going to want to play. Because it's a kitten that's, like, their life. Like, that's all they do. Which is, they just play and play and play. So, um, you know, I think that's going to be a pretty good thing. And, uh, you know, it's going to be nice to have some, uh, a little bit of, like, a little bit more life back in the house ever since Nikina died. I don't know, that sounds bad, but I think you guys know how I mean it, right? <laughs> uh, I, th I, th I think you get it. Alright, we're gonna get ourselves to Yules. Uh, Yules first every time on Death Prophet. Yules is like the single best item ever on this hero. Like, it always has been and it will always be. It is so good, so broken. Get a Yules. All the time, every game, no exception, like, seriously. No exception at all. Get a Yules. Thank you. <laughs> it is so good. It is so fucking good. Go sell some casual face boots. Uh, this kind of pull is probably gonna survive a little while, so we'll just go grab the bounty rune first. Uh, no bounty, what I'm saying. The, the rune. Oh, no, invisibility. Close to a bounty, but not quite. Uh, close to a bounty in the sense that it is uh, actually less useful. I would actually rather have the money, but no. Oh well, then again, this also gives me some more bottle charges. So anyhow, uh, what other thing is there to talk about? I had some more things. Over the past few weeks, I haven't really been working on like learning uh, Unreal and Unity and such. Like I, I told you, I was gonna start learning a game engine. And I did start, but then, you know, stuff got in between. But I've been picking it up again, and I've been working on it again. Like, over the past two days, I have, like, spent half an hour or so every day just going through the tutorials and such um, of Unreal Engine. I'm going to stick with Unreal now. But I was wondering if any of you have, like, you know, like, a, a YouTube channel you like a lot in that regard, or, you know, a website where has, like, they are like some good Unreal Engine tutorials. That would be fantastic. Because honestly, like the in-engine tutorial of Unreal Engine is not that great. I don't really... It's not that helpful. Um, I need some more basic stuff. Like honestly, I am really coming in blind. And I don't know what I'm doing. So like a little bit of help there would be fantastic. So if any of you know like a channel that does something. I'm going to be looking into it myself too, right? But like why not ask? I don't really see a downside. So that's, that's another thing here. Um, I'm kind of running low on mana. I wish I had a little bit more mana. I could just get a soul ring right now. Since I am going bloodstone anyway, that doesn't actually seem like a bad idea, if I'm honest. Like, that seems like a pretty decent idea. Oh, illusion. Uh, because I do want to push that tower. Oh, there's a winter wyvern here. There's a wyvern in the mid lane. Why, why is there a wyvern here? I don't like that wyvern. I feel bad for that guy. He queued into us last game, and last game wasn't pretty. <laughs> like, that was not pretty at all. Um, this game? Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> we'll see if this is gonna end up being any prettier, but it's not looking too good for them at the moment. Okay, Winter Wyvern, you don't want to do this. Um, because I'm gonna activate my ultimate and push now. See how little respect I have for you? Like, seriously, I just don't give a damn. Like, at all, I'm gonna be pushing here. And you can't really stop me? Because I'm Death Prophet. <laughs> oh, never mind. That is a lot of heroes. Okay. Well, you can't stop me if you, like, send this many heroes into the mid lane. Admittedly, that would work. Hmm. That is a little bit disappointing. Yeah. Yeah, I think you did successfully stop me from pushing. Okay. Tower is in the nigh range. Nope, not quite. Good shit. <laughs> That's exactly where we wanted to be. I was actually a bit worried about that. I was trying to just keep it like mildly out of the nigh range. Um, 
And it turns out I, I did manage to do exactly that. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Uh, yeah, because it's just, uh, you know, a difficult little thing to get this. Okay. Ooh. I think they all get it. I don't want to die. It's not worth it. It's just not worth dying over. No. No. It's unfortunate, but yeah, what can you do? I'm still a little confused with the like wind ranger not being in the mid from the beginning. But hey, <laughs> who am I to question them, right? Oh, nice. I I'll gladly take that. Let me get those five percent spell up. Um, that five percent spell up really doesn't seem like a big deal, but I promise you, it is really, really good, and you should take it. Uh, it just makes it so that your crypt swarm uh, is much better for farming. And yes, just five percent makes all the difference there. It really does. Okay. So, please pick yourself. Uh, pick, get, go ahead and get yourself the five percent there. Don't go for the magic resistance. I know the magic resistance seems tastier because it has a higher number displayed, but trust me, it's a lie. It's a lie. Uh, let me go ahead and grab this and this and nuke this down. Thank you. Well, we've got the first part of our item build here. Next up is going to be the bloodstone, mostly because we do want the bloodstone, right? Like, that seems like a good idea. But yeah, so, um, I'm going to try to get back to a schedule of, like, one regular Dota video and then, you know, just uh, a custom game a day, right? I, I understand that that's probably the best way to do it. That has That's what has worked. And a lot of you were like, oh, man, too many custom game videos. And I'm just like, yeah, you know what? I get it. I get it. Because, like, in fact, I was making so much custom game content, I got bored of custom games. <laughs> you know, and I was like, like, once I realized that, which wasn't too long ago, I was like, well, I mean, I was making custom game content to, like, switch it up with regular Dota, right? And now I'm just, like, bored of this. Like, but regular Dota sounds really appealing now. Gotta find a balance. A balance. Balance in all things. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, right? So, that's what we're gonna try to do. Go ahead and grab this. Are uh, you guys are still going at it? No, don't kill the guy. Oh, he's like super dead. He's like mega super dead. Man, man, I'm actually really excited to look at that, like, kitten tomorrow. Uh, I'm gonna take some pictures. So you guys can, like, check it out on Facebook or some shit. Like, I'm sure we're gonna post some there. But yeah. I don't know. It's just nice to, to bring that. To bring a little bit of, uh, you know, something new in here. Uh, which is probably gonna, like, destroy everything again. One of the biggest problems I had when Noah was a kitten, right? Because I, I got Noah when he was, um, when he was three months old. Which is when you're supposed to, like, you know, like, that's when you take a kitten away from the mother. No, uh, no younger, no older. Three months is, like, really the perfect age there. Um, but... When I first got Noah, the big issue I had, I had to teach him to not chew on cables. Like, you see these little, like, earphones I'm wearing right now, these earplugs? Yeah, he destroyed, like, ten of them. And I'm not joking or exaggerating or anything. It's just, like, just straight up murder ten of them. It's ridiculous. Right? And it's like, oh, oh well, I'm gonna kill you, I guess. You know, like, I do feel a little bit bad about that, but, like... Oh, uh, whatever. You're not important enough to, like, to waste my ultimate right now. Like, I still got a bit of duration. I might Oh, let me I'll grab you, actually. The silence. The ghosts. Yup, easy kill. Oh my god, I love this hero. This is my favorite fucking hero. And by favorite, I really mean my second favorite. And by second favorite, I really mean, like, I'm not quite sure if my second favorite or my third favorite, but, like, definitely somewhere in that ballpark. <laughs> Like, nice in the middle. Nicely in the middle there. Like, I, I have a number one favorite and two number two favorite heroes. She's so cool, man. She's so fucking cool. Let me go ahead and grab myself casual point booster, because why not? Oh, and I've been casting more games. And actually, I know... I now know what tournament I've been casting for. It's... <laughs> I know. It's, it seemed weird that I didn't know that at first. Right, but the last time I talked about it was like literally just like guys like I just got like asked 
on a uh, whim of like another guy dropping out but they then asked me to like cast more and more games and like at this point it seems like they are like recently i brought up payment and they're just like yeah we'll pay you pay you just keep casting <laughs> so i think that's good shit right um it's the kod league wait what is it tournaments professional no not blood in the streets kings of dota league this one this is what i've been casting yeah <laughs> so I'm pretty happy about that, you know. And uh, I'm gonna talk to them again today, and we'll just keep it going. We'll just keep it rolling, all right? Like, and it's actually like at first I, I really didn't know what what it actually was, right? But it turns out it's actually like a pretty like it is a professional tournament. Like they've got sponsors and everything. Sadly, they're not streaming it on Twitch. So like, if you wanna find it, it's like on Smashbox or something. No, Smashbox is a different. <laughs> What is it called? Smashcast! That's what it's called, yeah. A well, Smashbox is a different, like, different thing. Like, they used to be called Hitbox, but now they're called Smashcast. But there's also a different thing called the Smashbox, which is an alternate controller for um, Super Smash Bros. Melee. Which really sounds like an entirely different thing, because it is an entirely different thing. But it still trips me out, because the names are quite similar. Okay, no, you made a mistake. You made a mistake. <laughs> Sorry. Don't know how else to put it. But, like, that was a mistake, my friend. I love this hero, man. Oh, my God. She's so cool. She is so cool. And I'm back to full. <laughs> oh, man. Fucking death prophet. Fucking death prophet. All right. I really hope we actually get to finish up our Bloodstone before this game is over. Dude, I don't mind if this is like a super one-sided stomp. Like, I don't really mind a little bit. Because it's really just like me, like, giving you a bunch of updates and just hanging out and talking. Like, this is really how I see this video. It's just like, let's play some Dota and chill. Right? Dota and chill. That's really what these videos should be called. Not like balmy plays but i really feel like i really like how straightforward balmy plays is it's just like what is this well it's me playing the video game you know what that sounds about right yeah like that no no that definitely yeah no that that makes sense that definitely makes sense all right go blast these guys really quick so like the higher level or like not the higher level but the higher damage the five percent spell up make it so that that crypt swarm actually kills the range creeps right which is a really big deal. Oh, no. Oh, man. Isn't this unfortunate that I'm, you know, hasted? Oh, shit. How does something like that even happen? Oh, no. There's an ice blast, but it misses because I'm still hasted. Oh, no. The silence. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Let me get that. Let me get. Let me hook up to all of you. Oh, yeah, man. Let me feel that. Let me feel that juice coming out of you. Oh, that is so nice. Oh, there's another one down. And another one down. Is there another one? Oh, yeah, there's another one. Look at this. Oh, yeah, shit. Up you go. And down you come. And then I missed that. But that doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. Like one. No. Oh, no. That is unfortunate. That is unfortunate. But you know what? And another one down. <laughs> All right. I got to get myself some more bloodstone charges before we end this game. <laughs> I love Death Prophet. This hero is so cool. Did you see that? It's just like, let me hook up to all of you. You know what? Let's hang out and chill together. Oh. I really thought, I was, oh shit, it's dead. Another one down. Give me that bloodstone charge. Okay, we, I need like 11 more bloodstone charges. So like, you know, that would be nice. That would be really like super convenient. I'll be honest, that would be like so sick to have. That would be so sick to have. No, I didn't have that quest with Storm. I unlocked it after the game with Storm. So I got another Bloodstone. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Alright. <sighs> yeah, I've been, like, working on my quests here. And, um... I'm actually working on, like, leveling up my Compendium, too. I'm almost level 150. Next, like, after this game, I can show you the new Terra. Like, the water, the underwater thing. I haven't used it yet, like, at all, but I, I, after this game, I will have it, and, um, then I can use it, 
in the coming matches. Although, honestly, like, from what I've seen, I don't even like it that much. It's very ugly. It's very ugly. I don't... Maybe that's just... Maybe that's just me being weird, but I just don't think it's pretty. Like, I, I find it very unappealing. Oh, well. Thank you. Thank you, my man. Usually what I go for on Death Prophet is actually the Octarine Core. I think just straight Octarine Core is super good on this hero. Um, it's not really good on many heroes, but it works on this guy. And by this guy, I mean this lady. But you know what I mean. Right? Like, it works well on Death Prophet. It doesn't really work well on anybody else. Uh, but it does work well here, so I do like getting it. You know, it's just, you know, cooldown reduction is so huge. So huge. Absolutely huge. Enormous. Enormous, I tell you. Huge. Absolutely huge. Alright. Death Prophet trick number one. Be close to the tower. Does more damage that way. Death Prophet trick number two. Use yours to dodge literally everything. Death Prophet trick number three. Run in. Dodge ice bars. Get hit anyway. Die really slowly. Oh shit. No, I'm actually fine. It's all good. Nothing to worry about. Heal up on people. Death Prophet trick number three. Heal up on people like a lot. Go up into the air by healing up on people. Makes it so you heal up a little bit more. You know, without really having any risk of actually dying. And then you die. Oh, that is very unfortunate, actually. I needed my bloodstone charges. I guess I I did complete the quest, like, the first star of it, which is fine. I don't really care about three-starring this stuff. I don't really care. So, as long as I had my 15, I'm happy. <laughs> alright, alright. But yes, you saw how right there I really should have died a long time ago. But that's because of Death Prophet Tricks number 1 through 5. You know, it's just like, holy shit, this hero is so nutty. And uh, that should be a dead barracks. Um, and a fed courier. Have, have you guys given up? It looks to me like you just don't care anymore. It's a little bit rude, I'll be honest. A little bit rude. I come on, keep playing. I know it's not looking good, but I mean... Like, with that attitude, of course you're not gonna win games. Let me get that. Oh my god, this hero. <laughs> this fucking hero. <laughs> oh my god, I don't even have any words for that. Like, it's just like... It's so ridiculous. Like, the things she can do are really just so beautiful. Alright, sell this. Get this. I'm not even gonna bother with that. Like, my right click is non-existent. Okay, if I try to kill the back... Like, if I kill, I try to kill the shrine like that, we'll be there tomorrow. Although, admittedly, undying is not really much faster. <laughs> I'm gonna use my ultimate for something a little bit bigger than that, though. I'm not gonna use my ultimate for a shrine. Don't be silly. All right. I mean, the dream for, like, the 25 Bloodstone Chargers is still a little bit alive, but dying right there really set me back a bit. Just out of curiosity, but why is that shrine so important? Yeah, you know, I'm just wondering. But... Okay. Who am I to question that, right? <laughs> oh, I got another thing to tell you. Um, Open Angel in a patch should be coming out today, tomorrow, something like that. Um, just a small balance patch, and then soon, very soon, there should be a big, like, uh, content patch. Which I'm really excited about. Content patch is always fun. But, like, the balance patch is actually pretty significant as well. Um, it really changes a lot. So, I would recommend you just go ahead and give it a shot, you know, like... So it's a pretty pretty nice change. It really should make spell casters a lot more impactful throughout the entire game. I have made it so that bosses not only do not have magic resistance anymore, but actually take bonus magic damage. Um, should really help. Like you remember me asking for like having an item that fixes spell casters not really being good at killing bosses. Well, uh, I decided to not fix it that way. I decided to just fix it in a different way, but by making it so that spell casters just deal more damage to bosses. Okay. I'm not sure if it's the right call. I'm really not. But I thought I might as well give it a shot. You know, like, seems like a decent enough idea. We'll just go ahead and see how that works out. Definitely, definitely easy life, you know. Man, that Ice Blast is rude. Can you, like, 
Not do that anymore. Oh, there's a juggernaut. How does it feel not being able to cast your magic immunity? <laughs> oh no! Mad, stop it! It's rude! Oh shit, I just used my yours. I was pretty close to being out of range, actually. Oh no, I'm dead. Okay. Rip the dream. We're gonna be at 17. <laughs> That's the most we're gonna get here. That's the most we're gonna get. Oh well, we tried. You know what? We gave it our best shot. But I think 17 is fine. Again, I just care about completing the quest. I don't care about getting like a billion fucking stars. Like, just give me, give me one star and then I'm good. Hook me up with an Octarine core while you're at it, because Octarine core is some good ass shit. <sighs> no, it really is actually some really, like, this item is made for Death Prophet. Absolutely made for Death Prophet. I'm convinced the reason why Death Prophet doesn't have an Aghanims yet, actually, is because it's broken on her. Like, <laughs> I know it sounds silly, like, I don't even know what the Aghanims effect is, but it's like, almost certainly... Uh, as long as it's not complete, utter garbage, right, like, in, unless it's not intentionally bad, Aghanims on Death Prophet will be broken, and that's why she doesn't have one yet. <laughs> Although I have some cool ideas on what it could be. Like, for example, what I think they should do with Death Prophet Aghanims is they should make it so she can, like, reactivate her ultimate. Like, her ultimate, instead of, like, stopping spawning ghosts, is always spawning ghosts on an interval once you have Aghanims, and, um, it has a maximum. Right? Like, it's just like, and, and then Death Prophet kind of like periodically push the button again to eat it. So it becomes a little bit of a rhythm game. I think that would be kind of fun. I'm not sure if it's a great idea, but I think it would be kind of fun. Right? Like, I, I mean, there's lots of stuff we can do with that. Um, 10% cooldown reaction. Oh no, we already won! <laughs> oh, that was very unfortunate. Yeah. Level up a little bit more, look at the big wagers. Oh, this is, that is nice, isn't it? Look at all of those level ups. Um, but I, well, let's actually look at scoreboard first. So I had the highest net worth. I'm a little unhappy that I died twice, but, well, what can you do, right? Play a net worth. I mean, this was just rude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is funny, look at that. That is hilarious. Alright. Yeah, I've no idea what was going on on their side. Like, why was there an ancient apparition mid or whatever? Two unclaimed rewards. Let me claim that one. Yes. Yes, thank you. And let me claim that one. And actually, let me open that one up. Start. Skip. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah you can't deal with that. Let me go and equip that, right? Anyhow. Anyhow. Uh, add to shuffle, right? Whatever. I'm gonna do a giveaway today. I haven't been doing them recently, but I feel like doing one today. Have something. So let me go ahead and open that up really quick. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I understand it was a little bit one-sided, but fuck it. <laughs> Let's chill a bunch. Why not? What's wrong with that, right? So today's winner is uh, Warring God. You win. What about uh, these Hasazazel, Hasadil Mage Breaker? Looks like this. So sounds uh, mythical. You want that? Feel free to send me a message. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to leave a rating on the video. And I hope to see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.